this VI is supposed to generate a uh, small string that represents a numeric value in variable length format. The incoming value is supposed to be an unsigned 32-bit number, so I'll set the representation to U32. And I'll just call that X. So this number, as I say, needs to get converted into um, ultimately anywhere from 1 to 4 bytes. I'll use the number to boolean conversion as a way of getting at the individual bits within that 32-bit number. This produces a boolean array. Let's examine the uh, least significant bit, which is at the top, and then it, increase, it increases towards the bottom. All right, so we can see two now again, if you kind of remember your binary mathematics a little bit, you can kind of recognize the progression of a binary number up on top. This might be a little more convenient if we actually change the display representation to hexadecimal. So we expect that one to light up all seven. That should light up one. Yep, that's working out fine. So that, that will help you to establish the correspondence between the numerical value and the array. So let me illustrate a couple things you can do with this. One possibility is if you'd like to insert a bit. So this would be useful for inserting uh, the flag bit, for example. Remember that you're supposed to be generating a series of 8-bit I'm sorry, 8-bit values, that's correct, where the most significant bit corresponds to a flag that says whether or not you've got uh, more bytes to go in representing that variable length format. All right, so there you can see what I've done is, uh, in, in this case, inserted a bit at the LSB location or um, index 0. Another thing you might look at is extracting a portion of the Boolean array. So maybe this would be useful for taking those 32 bits and perhaps grabbing the lower seven uh, bits. So I'll use index 0 for this purpose. I'm sorry, index uh, value 2. And actually, this method that I'm describing right now, that's sort of resulting in a little bit of confusion for me when I did my video capture. Uh, this is actually producing or extracting one value from the array. So it's just extracting a single element here. So there I'm able to pick off the place where it's a one. So index array is suitable for grabbing one value at a time. Array subset, which is kind of what I was getting at earlier, is a way for you to grab, say, seven bits all at once. So the index technique is the same idea. You can specify where you'd like to start um, extracting that subset. The length, of course, tells you how many you'd like to get. So I'll set my index to zero. That would be the be beginning of the array. And I'll grab seven bits worth. Ah, there we have an array indicator, so that's good news. Good, so we've picked out the lower seven bits Let's try making some of those bits non-zero. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, once you've been able to assemble your uh, Boolean array in some fashion that's desirable to you, 
you can do the reverse where you convert the Boolean array back to a numerical value. Now it's saying the number is 52. If we do the display as a hexadecimal value, I think we'll see that it works out. Hey, this looks good. Well, good luck with this one. This is a, a challenging sub-VI.